The device is called IV Drip, Intravenous Dehydration Relief in Pediatrics. It's an entirely mechanical, automatic device that will regulate the volume of fluid dispensed during IV therapy, and it's specifically targeted for children in developing countries, where one and a half million kids die annually to dehydration. The device will cost under $80 and is fairly easy to use. Here's your uh, IV bag with your um, IV line. And uh, the first thing you would do is equilibrate your IV bag, and that is defined as uh, when this lower lever arm is um, horizontal. Once you've equilibrated your system, you would move uh, your moving counterweight in the amount of notches that correspond to the volume you'd like to dispense. Each notch corresponds to 50 milliliters. So you'll go ahead and, and move uh, the counterweight inwards. Uh, this will then prime the system for uh, the triggering. And at this point, you'll uh, take two fingers and you'll actually pinch the triggering pin in a triggering mechanism. Once the bag loses enough mass uh, to correspond um, to the desired volume to be dispensed, uh, the lower lever arm will equilibrate again, um, setting off the triggering system and pinching the tubing in a V shape. Freshman year in fall of 2011, uh, Thor, Melissa, uh, Melissa, and I were part of a, a design team also consisting of Taylor Vaughn and Paige Horton where we designed a, a device that uh, used mouse traps to, uh, to kink uh, IV tubing when a certain volume of fluid ha had been dispensed. And so we developed this device in NG120, Intro to Engineering Design. And over the course of the next semester in spring, we uh, further refined the device in Global Health 400 or Independent Global Health Research. That summer, Melissa and I took the device to Lesotho in Malawi where we demonstrated the device to clinicians, to doctors and nurses, who gave us valuable feedback. For example, we learned that mousetraps probably weren't the best uh, design choice because clinicians would be afraid of getting their fingers stuck in the device. And so we relayed this information to Thor, who is a B2B intern here over the summer. And he was able to uh, redesign the device to instead use a spring-based clamping mechanism to pinch the tubing shut. I think part of its success is maybe attributed to the simplicity of the design. Before it used mouse traps, so using mouse traps to solve a health, pro a global health problem, um, and so that just sort of piques interest in the device itself. It helps people who may not be so much aware of this problem um, learn something new about global health. Just so like a simple design that works, uh, that teaches people about a new problem that they might not even have known um, existed.